Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review here on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Kyle Busch's 2016 Skittles uh, Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing. And might I say, this is a really cool diecast right here. I really like this one and this is a really, really cool Kyle Busch car. And this is the only way that I have this die cast. I do not have any other model year for this. I didn't even get 2017 through 2021. So I really fell behind with this livery. Uh, so yeah, guys, I really wanted to make sure I got this die cast, uh, a video of it at least. Uh, this is Kyle Busch back when, back when he was at Joe Gibbs Racing. Uh, I cannot believe I'm saying that back when he was at Joe Gibbs Racing. Like, it's such a surprise still sometimes to me. I mean, I've gotten used to him being in the 8 Childress car, but just going back and remembering this is bringing back some memories. And yeah, this car is going to have a few paint chips like here and here, but that's just because I've had this car for quite some time already, and it's probably starting to wear, so i got to find a better place for it and a lot of the other diecasts so that doesn't happen. But, you know, they're diecasts. <laughs> they wear and tear. Uh, but this is Kyle Busch's Skittles car. It's a really, really nice car. Still, to this day, I still like this car. That's why some of the newer Kyle Busch cars from 2022, the Skittles paint schemes and stuff, and the 2021s kind of followed the same formula for the paint schemes. It just works. It's got number 18 Camry. Joe Gibbs Racing right there. You got Skittles with the different Skittles colors right there. You got Kyle Busch. You have Moog, Mal, Comp, Edelbrock, and Sunoco. You have Goodyear right there. Of course, you have NASCAR race cars, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Man, I gotta back this up a little bit. Mechanics wear, Duralast brakes, Mobile One, Sherwin Williams, 3M, KNN, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, and then you have IR, Lincoln Welders, and Flowmaster. This is back when these cars had way more contingency sponsors, as you can tell. Number 18 is a little bit low, but it's not too big of a deal. You got Kyle Busch right there. You got Toyota. Ooh, these are gonna be hard to read. Something underneath the Toyota logo. Two logos that I can't read. Another logo that I can't. Is that Twix? I really cannot read that. Let's see if I can zoom in on all these. Yeah, I really cannot read those, you guys. I could probably make out the Twix. Oh, wow, that is a Twix logo. Uh, the purple bag of M&M's. Then you have Pedigree. And my God, why are these decals so small and fuzzy? Really can't read those. The rest of them I'll be able to read. You have Interstate Batteries, you got Frightliner, Mac Tools, Doosan, and then you have uh, Sherwin Williams, that other logo that I'm never able to read, Lincoln Welders and Siemens, you got Skittles right there, very dusty, I've had this thing forever, but you got Stanley, you got Interstate Batteries on the back right there, the quarter panel, that's where that little paint chip is, and then of course, Race the Rainbow, Taste the Rainbow, you got Camry, Toyota, XSE. You got Toyota right there, and of course, number 18, you got Skittles on the Declan, and nothing on the roof. As for the paint scheme, you're going to have the black outline and the white number fill in all over this thing. All the numbers are going to be like that, the black roof rails. They spray painted it red. Oh, wow, you can even see Mars Inc. 2016 under there, 2016 Toyota Camry uh, under there. So for the die cast itself, you got a black splitter. A red spoiler. Nice. They left the spoiler. Oh, wait. No, they painted the front of it black. I forgot. For some reason, they left the spoiler in the back red, and then and then the front of the spoiler is black. That is weird. I don't know why they did this. doesn't look bad or anything like that. It's just, it's just noticeable. Uh, so for the paint scheme itself, now that we got the color and all that out of the way, just black rims with the red scheme. Maybe red rims would have clashed too much not too sure about that but that's just a detail you're gonna notice of course you're gonna have all red in the front but when you look at the hood that's we got the purple the blue green yellow orange and another red just swoosh, swooping across the hood right there with the green green red red orange uh, yellow purple orange green red orange right there on the hood with the skittles letters looking really good right there the Skittles Gummies car, I think, was it? And that was the that was the Xfinity car and the Atlanta car. Uh, what was was the Lime is back 
car. That was a nice die cast. I, I don't think I reviewed that car, but it did race in the Flash Racing Cup Series die cast series that I'm doing. Uh, that's taking a little while to come back, but stay tuned. It'll be back eventually. Uh, of course, you have the Skittles with the rainbow across the side. Skittles with the same rainbow across the side. Pretty much the same rainbow almost that was on the hood. Just a little bit altered just to fit onto the side and around the wheel wells and all that. Looks very nice. Not having to overdo it that much with this paint scheme. Just a couple of decals with the rainbow and on the back as well. Swooshed. And that's really the paint scheme. It's a very simple car. I mean, all they did was take the Skittles logo that they put on the bag and threw it on this, on the hood and on the side and all on the back. Really don't have to do much to have a really, really bright paint scheme. It's, it looks vibrant. Like, for how simple this scheme really is, it is still vibrant. I really like that about this car. You know, it's, 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 it's iconic. You know, Kyle Busch has made some history with his paint scheme. Uh, alongside the M&Ms for quite some time. Man, it's really, really cool. Of course, the, the uh, Goodyears are yellow on this. Sometimes I forget to point out that what color the Goodyears are because that sometimes can make or break the blend of the decals. But I say for this one, it's a nice car. And depending on the model year you have, it should still be the same paint scheme. Uh, it should still be the red with the same scheme just on the newer Camry. This paint scheme came out in what, 2013 or 14, and they kept it the same for a long time until they started bringing in the new flavors and such. Yeah, just seeing this car with the candy sponsors and some of the original Joe Gibbs sponsors like Stanley and Interstate Batteries. Yeah, oh wow, I just noticed Interstate Batteries here, 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 and here. So yeah, they definitely put a lot of Interstate on this car. But it's a really, really cool car. I really like this one. He has a 360 view of it. This original Camry from 2015 and 6, wow, so 2013 and 14, so two years of that older Camry, two more years of this, so you get 2015, 16, and they cut it at 2017, they made a new Camry. So yeah, Toyota's been changing their body a lot, and then of course they did the Chevy SS thing with the new, the 2017 Camry, where they keep it the same for like seven or eight years and then make tiny changes to it. Just went on a little bit of a... Oh, God. Tiny little history lesson about the Camrys there for no reason, but, you know, I'm a diecast review. I'm going to point out some things that you may not think of. So you got the, the, uh, the front of the car right there. Here's the hood. Here's the right side. Here's the back. Here's the deck lid. Here's the roof. Here's the left side. And the chassis, what used to be the chassis. And that, my friends, is going to be Kyle Busch's 2016 Skittles paint scheme. So, all in all, this is a cool die cast. Um, if you haven't gotten 2016, you could buy 2017, 2018, 2019. I mean, it's just, they kept the scheme really the same for a long time. So, if you already have one, you may not need to get the other. But if you want to collect them all because you're a hardcore Kyle Busch fan or anything like that, you could still do that. It's still... That's still something you can do. Uh, but the model year that I have is the 2016. So, yeah, the die cast is in iffy shape. But I was still able to put out a good, a pretty good die cast review of that. So, I'll probably start doing some more retro die cast reviews until some newer ones come in. I still got to review that Chase Elliott Dover Race Win 124. I'm not going to make any guarantees about that. Uh, judging how long it's been taking me to make that video or get time to make that video so hopefully that comes and you know we'll have cars like this you know just stuff that i have in my collection that we can review uh really cool die cast though so comment like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next die cast review and always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your die casts